Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm James Ruddle and today's lesson is going to be on how to create a photo with multiple different images and I'm going to be showing you with a free software called canva.com. So if you don't have Photoshop, don't worry. Just uh, join with me in today's lesson. Lincoln, do you want to say hi to the kids? What? You want to say hi to the air? Hi. <laughs> All right. So um, I'm just going to share my screen um, with you guys and uh, go over how we actually do or put together all of our photos. So what you want to do is you want to go into canva.com. And uh, I have lo logged in through my GAPS account, um, and you guys can do so as well. Uh, I need to create a custom size. And um, if most of your photos are landscape, so that means wide, um, you will probably want to do your, your um, dimensions wider than tall. Whereas if all of your photos are this way, like portrait style, then you may want to do like taller than wide. Um, so because most of inches wide and oh sorry I got to change that from pixels to inches and so I've got 24 by 18 inches I'm gonna create a new design so here's my design this is the image that uh, the final image for my principles of design assignment and uh, it's super easy so you can go to uploads and you can upload media through a device through Facebook Google Drive Instagram or Dropbox and so I just go and I've got them all in my focus folder and I'm just going to oh there's a beautiful photo of Madeline I'm gonna put that one in there okay so if these are my principle of design photos and I, I didn't actually do this assignment but uh, I can certainly incorporate all of this into um, this for you guys today. But what I do is I, I pull the image over and then if you look as I'm dragging it, I'm going to want the width to be eight inches, the height to be six. So there's six and then um, six and then bring it over to eight. There we go. So I have a six by eight. And I know that that is going to be 6, 12, 18, and then uh, 8, 16, 24. So if I use this, um, those numbers, then I know that each photo needs to be specifically that size. So I'm just going to drag this one over, and I'm going to make it this, the proper size. So I'm going to make it, drag it down to 6 and drag it over to eight. And then if I double click on it, then I actually bring, um, I can see the full image, the full cropped image. And I can crop it how I want. So there we go. There we go. So I've got my second image. And then, um, I, I really like this photo of Madeline, so I'm just going to bring that one in. I'm going to use this image for one of the principles of design. I'm not sure which one yet, but I'll decide that later. Okay. There we go. So now we've got three photos. This one's going to be movement. Uh, dandelions harmonize and bring all of those colors together um, then I'm gonna use who let's see there we go and 
and then bringing that down to six by eight. Crop it. So there we go. That looks good. <clears throat> then I'm going to There we go. Gonna make sure that that is six by eight. There we go. <clears throat> and I actually think I'm going to bring this down because then we've got the nice browns on either side and then we've got the dark edges on these ones. And then I'm going to get a photo. This is the Guggenheim Museum in New York. There we go. And I'm gonna bring it, there we go. And there we go. And then I've got this nice photo here. <clears throat> There we go. It's on the rule of thirds. And um, now the one cool thing about this is once I put my photos in, if I need to edit them at all, which in this case, I want to edit this one and increase the contrast, I just go over here and I go to image adjustments and I can change the brightness, the contrast and all that kind of stuff. So if I wanted to increase that, increase the contrast, yes, something like that, that's better. I like that. And I can do the same with all of these pictures here as well. Um, and then I just need one more photo and I'm just gonna use another cool photo of Madeline because she's so photogenic. <laughs> And I'm going to make sure the rule of thirds is on her face. Perfect. And then, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so now I have all nine of or eight of my photos with uh, center, uh, something in the center, and I'm going to just create a heading. And I'm going to call this principles. Of design. Perfect. I'm going to delete this and I'm going to put this into the center. Okay. So now, I know that for each of these, I'm going to have to have a title. And so I can just pick the cool thing is for the text, you can use any of these titles. Um, they're, they're all actually pretty neat. Um, I'm going to keep it fairly simple. Um, so I'm going to use action 
And I'm going to bring that over here. And this one is going to say movement. So I'm just going to go over here and movement. OK, and I'm going to have to make it smaller. And I'm going to obviously change the color of my font. And uh, you know what? Maybe I, th I think white is better there. Yeah, I like that. White. Perfect. And then I'm going to copy that and then paste it. So control C, control V. And this one is going to be called Harmony. Okay, and then I'm going to go control V again. Here we go. <clears throat> And I'm going to put one here. And I'm going to put one here. And I'm going to put one uh, there. And here. And here. Now, for each one of these, obviously, I'm going to have to change. And so uh, I need to have um, rhythm. Balance, proportion, variety, emphasis, harmony, unity. So as I'm working on this, sorry, I'm going to put rhythm. Rhythm, I think that's rhythm. How do you spell rhythm? R H Y. Yes, rhythm. Okay, perfect. There's rhythm. This one's going to be emphasis because of her jacket. This one is going to be. <clears throat> um. Variety, let's see. Balance, proportion, balance, proportion. I'm going to do proportion because of the columns and the people that are in the background. There's proportion. And I'll just center that. Emphasis, rhythm, harmony, movement. Um, this one is going to be variety. This one will be variety. Okay. This one will be <clears throat> Let's see. Balance. Yeah, I like that one for balance. And ironically, it's asymmetrically balanced, so it's not symmetrical, which is a excellent form of balance. I could also use this as asymmetrical balance, but I'm going to use this one as um, unity. Perfect. All right, so I've got all of all of mine done. Um, all of the photos are there. It looks very nice and. The last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to download as a JPEG and it will automatically download into my downloads folder right here. And I'm just going to open that up. Looks amazing. And I'm just going to change the name Principles of Design James Ruddle. 
and there we go. This is where I can just double check to make sure that everything is aligned properly. It looks beautiful. Oh, wonderful. So it looks great. And then I will submit that as my assignment. Thanks for watching. And I hope you learned uh, a lot about Canva. I hope it was easy to follow and you'll join with me in our next lesson.